take two. <laughs> Hi, Robbie. How's it going? Good. Can we talk about your your gear and why it matters to you? Or Absolutely. where you even came up with this first this guitar? I've been as those active pickups or passive? Uh, these are passive pickups. This is a set uh, built by a company called Mojo Tone out in uh, North Carolina. Uh, nice. Some special stuff we're working on uh, together. Uh, this oh, really? guitar has um, piezo built in. So I've got All this right. switch here. This uh, So this is just fully uh, pickups. This is a 50 50 blend. And then this is full piezo. And then obviously there's. A five-way So you get really so a lot of versatile sounds from yeah, that. Then. Yeah, If I'm doing the math right, it's like 15 sounds or something. And then, and then the Damn. piezo itself has a coil tap on it, which is really cool. Um, so if you if you wanted to use the piezo with some gain sounds, you throw the coil tap on and it cuts some of that low end out. Brilliant. So it's a really awesome sounding guitar. It's an ash body. Um, nice thin neck for great. shredding. <laughs> yes. It's the, Good. That's a neck, yeah. So let's follow the signal path. So it, out of your guitar goes into your pedal board, right? Yeah. Now tell in, us. Into the board, uh, straight into the Empress buffer. Empress does incredible stuff. Um, is it an A to B box? Tell me, what is the Empress? Uh, it's just a buffer. So it's. Okay. So I'm using this. What is know, a buffer? What does a buffer do? Uh, it, it just kind of takes your signal and juices it up to send okay. it through long cable runs. So. Gotcha. It, it does uh, great work for... So it's still a high Z, yeah. but it's a healthier, stronger high Z. Is yeah. that it? Yeah. Okay. So it's great for live stuff and running, you know... Multiple pedals. 30 foot limbs and stuff like right, that. Right, right. Um, so, and then under this board, this is kind of... Uh, I've got this right. uh, Voodoo Lab Hex, which is six loops, and um, it's MIDI controllable, so I... Oh, sick! I don't have to actually turn so, pedals on. No way! Yeah. That's brilliant, dude. So, and then I, yeah, so I've got... And lazy. <laughs> yeah. Well, but amazing. a lot of work time. initially, but yeah. <laughs> During the show, I can just push one button and no, it does all the switching for me. And then you're, you're into compression, which I love compression on tar preamp. I'm a oh, yeah. big fan. Yeah. Yeah. Can be very noisy. How noisy is that one? Uh, this one's not so bad. I Good. Mean, this is um, uh, yeah. the best compressor I've ever played through. Yeah. Personally. Yeah. How hard do you hit it? Like... How much, um, how much like gain reduction you're around four? Or I'm doing, I'm doing a four to, four to one. Um, I'm generally hitting the input. Um, I guess you would call that unity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, about a 50% mix, slow oh, right attack, on. sort of quick release. Um, sure. So yeah, it's it's not it's kind of subtle, but that's know, exactly how I would dial it. I'm using it, it as an effect. Right. That's exactly how I would dial it. Yeah. Slow attack, so it gives you that little sharpness on the thing, and it's got it's got to release fast for yep. fast notes. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And the blend is dope. Yeah, that's great yeah, to have in a guitar pedal. Yes, Shit. I love that. That I don't. My compression guitar pedals don't have blends. I've, yeah. Um, that's really dope. I guess a lot of guys would say this might be, you know, a little overkill for live, but. I think it does. Yeah, fuck that. It does everything that I need it to do and more. So, and the lights are cool. You know, can you? You know what I call that? What? LPD. That stands for lights per dollar factor. Oh yeah. So that's gear right. it's real. that has high LPD, that's awesome. You yeah. know, it could be like this cheap shitty thing, but it got lots of lights. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> you know. It's real. It's real. It's like old school Neve shit. No lights. Yeah. Expensive. Who wants that Neve stuff? No, right, look no, at this. No time for that. Crazy LPD. All yeah. the kids are so impressed. <laughs> All right, let's move on. I'm impressed. Um, this pedal is not really being used on this tour, uh, just you know, for the set list of reason. But killer, right. kill, killer, of course, course. yeah. Max and now, does it does it come in as mono or stereo? But when uh, you do use mono, this, this is on right. mono on the board. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. You can do the the. It the has, yeah, phase, but you yeah, run into stereo. Mono. I gotta try that sometime. Yeah. This is my favorite pedal of all time, I think. Uh, the Empress Germ Drive. Um, I th I'll throw that on the, the low channel on the Triple Crown. Is that just and a booster? Like for extra it's, lead it's power? A, yeah. It's, it's just a booster? But it's a, it's a germanium um, drive, so it's, it's almost got some fuzz qualities. Oh, so it. it really colors your sound. It's not just volume. Yes. It adds attitude. It definitely adds a lot of attitude. Nice. Lots of low end and it's super thick, so... You know, when, when I need something a little more hairy than the precision drive, which I kind of use as a, like a, you know, two screamer, which is kind of yeah, what sure. I to do. Uh, if I need something a little hairier than that, I'll, I'll 
we'll kick that guy on. Sick. And it's sick, yeah. Octonoise is a really cool pedal from Emma. Uh, Love it. Super nasty uh, fuzz, and also with a, an octave fuzz built in too, so it does all sorts of nasty stuff that is really cool. It's got lots of cool character to it. And then, yeah, Horizon stuff is all solid. You'd say your main distortion pedal. Yeah, all, all, right. the, all the super heavy, yeah. you know, chubby tones come from that. So therefore, how much so, when, now over to your amp, so are you leaning, often leaning more on distortion from the pedal and just a little bit of gain setting on the amp, or does it go into the amp, with the amp if we plug directly into it, be just fairly clean and all the... Um, I'm using a fair amount of gain for, yeah. for this amp, like, you know, on like a dual rectifier, you would normally set it at noon and you would call that kind of, yeah. you know, medium range gain. This amp, you, you gotta, you gotta push it just a, just a hair more, but, um, it, it sounds incredible. Right. So I messed up because the signal chain would be going into the helix before your amp or, or no? What is, uh, what is this interplay? But it's, so this path in the Helix is in front of the amp. So what's going on here is I'm coming off the pedal board into the front end of the Helix, and that goes into this path. And then you pull up something a little more interesting here. Mm -hmm. So I'll have some effects in the front. I'll do like some octave stuff, or um, I've got this thing set up in a loop that's in front of the amp. Uh, the Horizon Nano, super sick little pedal. What does that? What does it do? Uh, it's kind of a clean boost. And, Another boost. Okay. Uh, it's it's really they took this knob from this pedal, the drive. I'm sorry, the attack uh, circuit, and then they just threw it into one pedal, and that's that's Brilliant. what this knob does. If I'm not totally mistaken. Um, so yeah, this path is in front of the amp, and then this path here is coming out of the line level send from the Mesa. Uh, which is a really cool feature. You can actually switch off the speaker outputs. Yeah. So it's it's taking the load itself. It's the amp itself is oh, holding it's... the load. Oh, really? And then you're sending a line level signal out. Which is can be really awesome sounding. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I would send that yeah. here, do all my time base effects here, split it stereo. So, dude, what takes the load? So it's like, I would call that a power soak from back in the day. The yeah. box that takes the energy the speaker thing gives you an emulated line out. Which is, what device is doing the power soap? So the Triple Crown has the cab clone built in. Oh, no shit. Um, so, but I'm actually not, used, so it's, it's sending the, you know, what, what it would send to a cab, it's just sending it out line level, so there's no, yeah. Yeah. There's no uh, speaker simulation going on there. Um, and okay. that's, so I'm running that into these two eyes. So that's gonna be here. super bright and yeah. super DI. Yeah. And this, and then this goes in here to emulate yeah. and the I'm, cap tone? Yeah, so I'm, I'm using two Ohnhammer IRs. Sick. Um, I think they're both B30s. Um, but they're, they're made to be used together. So the phasing is all all sick. And, oh, that's uh, dope. Yeah. And then, yeah, two, two uh, XLRs out to the board, and mm -hmm. it sounds great. Great. So we're running three outs for you. Uh, right? These just, are just two. Just two. Just two outs? Stereo left right. Yeah. And what about the cabinet that we're micing out? Uh, no, no cab. Oh, we did right. Yeah. Oh, okay. And yeah, we did. We, you used to do that. This or is our, this is our first tour doing it, really. Yeah. Um, we needed to save space uh, sure. space on stage, so we just mixed the cabs. And, cool. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, that makes it a lot simpler and, and yeah. sound consistent and dang Absolutely. and dangerous if you know what you're doing. Yeah, you know, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Good. Is that it? That's that's, that's it, it really.